Tonight I was caught in a sudden storm. It came on suddenly and it, it, it panicked me. And normally I remain very calm. But what I had to do immediately was remember God's presence and that he was with me. And then next I began to uh, speak his word over me. Um, I, as I was driving, I have a big SUV and normally it's not impacted by the elements you know, wind and things like that. It stays pretty steady, but this thing, it was moving back and forth. And I just thought, oh Jesus, I could die. <laughs> and normally I don't have thoughts like that, but it was just very, it, it was, all I can tell you is that fear pressed on me. And I didn't think about it until um, I got home, but I thought, you know what? I was more vulnerable than normal because I had been fatigued the last several days, staying up late, you know, with Christmas activities going on. And um, I was alone by myself driving and it was nighttime and I don't see as well at night. So I was more of a, of a, a prey. So, I mean, I was more available to the prey of fear. Um, but here's what I want to say is that three things about the storms. One, they're inevitable. Two, we've got to know God's presence. And three, we've got to know his word because that's how we're going. The, his word guides us and gets us through on the other side. But without these three, that knowing these three things, storms will take us out in life. And even though I was shaking physically, I mean, my body was just shaking and all these cars were stopping and I thought I've got to get home. So I was trying to maneuver through them. And, um, if I had not continued to say the word, I would have lost my way, so to speak. I would have melted into the situation. I would have been overwhelmed with the situation and not been able to keep my focus. But knowing God's presence and knowing his word, were that was my lifeline to pull me through. And so we've got to remember this during life when the storms hit. If not, we they will take us down. So... I hope that helps you tonight, my real life experience, because it was very scary for me. And I'm still kind of, uh, I'm, I'm still unnerved from it. But thank you, Jesus, I am home. Talk to you later.